Hello everybody, it's Fred from CR Machine um, with another video, uh, kind of like a part two video about uh, the topic of what kind of engine do I have? <laughs> or what kind of engine do you have? Uh, if you're wondering about that, all right, well, um, this is one, this video will cover the big engines, 47 millimeter piston. Um, you will see uh, two type of pistons. One is a type B piston. Now there's no real standard on the nomenclature of what we call these things, but you know, I, I uh, whatever, um, I'll, I'll do the best I can. Some people call their engines other things. Here's a type A piston. You will see type A piston. The piston is on, is below the halfway mark of you know distance from the bottom f uh, face of the skirt to the uh, top of the crown you'll see the type B okay uh, that that wrist pinhole is definitely in the middle of the piston uh, judging from the top of the dome to the bottom of the skirt so uh, there's the differences in pistons you got type A right there and type B right there okay so that's one of the first things you can look at uh, when it involves you taking off the cylinder. Uh, so, oh well, too bad. Baptism by fire for some. For others, a uh, piece of cake. Um, so you pull the cylinder, you see what kind of piston you have. Type B or type A. Okay? Now you can see where these are positioned. These are, these type A pistons are on um, a PK80 style engine. That's kind of like what some people call them and what I call them. And then actually there's a half breed as well. And that's a 38. That's what I meant to do. <laughs> okay, so the ZAE 50 rod is is it's not the PK80 type which has to be a 40 millimeter stroke this one is to uh, the engine that I called the half breed engine anyway it has a ZAE 50 rod and a type A now the others that use these short rods um, are the PK80 type which are 40 millimeter stroke again type A piston and uh, you have three different varieties here. Uh, Non-caged needle bearing uh, uh, connecting rod, ZL brand. Um, here's the caged uh, uh, needle bearing uh, type. Um, another ZL rod. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that's a little better. ZL. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see where they... Uh, uh, this is important for you to, to remember. Uh, uh, see these heat treat marks? That's from them uh, uh, tempering this area here. Okay, they want to soften that area up after the initial heat treatment. So um, that's something to pay attention to because there's another rod that looks just like this. Okay, here's another short rod. It has no marking on it. And these are some of the best uh, um, engines, I think, uh, the ones that have that rod. And then, um, got to, to the Type B piston area. There's actually, um, now there's actually two types of engines. Um, I just recently got one um, uh, from CDH, and it's called the A80 engine. And that's actually a 40 millimeter stroke engine and um, and it takes a type B piston and these rods here are the long rods um, they're about f four millimeters longer than these center to center distance and um, see usually these pistons uh, the type B pistons were exclusively for the GT5 type motors and um, and some of the fancier motors like my GT5L. Um, uh, uh, 
which used 40. But mainly, these pistons were always for the GT5 type 38 millimeter stroke. And they would be either the ZAF80 or FM80 rods. Those were the two types of rods that are currently used for the GT5 type. And if you see this piston and one of these rods, then you know that you have a GT5 type, which is 38 millimeter stroke. Uh, confused yet, folks? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so type B piston again, but now the new engine that's come out. Um, pretty nice geometry, the A80 geometry, 40 millimeter stroke. And it takes this ZL rod. Looks very familiar, doesn't it? ZL rod to the short PK80 type. Another ZL rod. Hmm, interesting. But they are different in length, and and that is very hard to tell by eye. But you can see that the uh, short rod, PK80 style, uh, take has this uh, heat treatment mark, whereas this ZL, the longer rod for the A80 engine, does not have that heat treatment so that's how you can tell. Oh, and um, it's a little difference in these holes. How much variation from rod to rod there is, I don't know, but you could maybe use that. Here's, here's the A80 one, and you can see they countersink those top holes quite a bit. And that's for the A80, that's the long rod type B piston. And then here's a short ZL rod, and these holes really are not countersunk at all. So these are the little clues that, you know, if you want to find out what kind of engine you have, uh, that's what you need to do. You have to look at the piston and look at the rod, and that will basically, you'll be able to know what ge geometry it is. Um, you know, sorry folks, there's just no real consensus on these engines. Everyone calls them something else, and, you know, it's really hard to say what you have. And the reason why it's, it's, it's important to know this is, like, if you want to buy uh, one of my top-end kits um, at crmachine.com, you'll be able to, like, you know, know what is the right uh, type to order, you know, to work on your bottom end. Okay, so I hope uh, that was nice for you to see that. So now we have, look at that, folks. There's seven different rods out there, and that's just for the 47 millimeter big engines. <laughs> okay, well, it's uh, definitely an interesting thing, you know. Um, it's wild. It's ever-changing, these engines. And uh, so I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you very much. Bye.